Hey everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna make a fabric bowl, but I'm not gonna use the balloon. I'm going to use this bowl covered with some saran. And I'm doing this because I didn't really like the size of the balloon. I wanted a bigger bowl. And I don't like that the balloon was round on the bottom. I wanted something flat. So I am just gonna use this bowl and I'm gonna cover it with a bunch of layers of plastic wrap, oh. just so um, the fabric will be easily removable. That's the only reason, and you don't want it to stick to the bowl. So just put on a few pieces. I'm gonna do three or four. Smooth it out as best you can. That's enough, because I'm not going to go all the way down the side. I'm probably going to go to about here on my bowl. So, okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have a bowl of warm water. I'm, I'm adding this step in. I didn't do this when I did the balloon, but I want my fabric a little more um, wet. So I am going to just cut um, a few strips. And I'm going to put them in the water to soak while I'm doing this. I maybe need a bigger bowl, but this will do for now, just to give you the idea. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to put every piece in there, but I want to have some wet pieces. Because I think it'll give me less um, wrinkles. Also, all your pieces don't have to be strips. For the one I did on the balloon, it was I used bigger pieces. And I'm just cutting up different fabrics I have. Some is from my fresh cut and my line, and my some is from the Songbird Serenade. So I'm just gonna put them in there while I'm working. I'm not using any rhyme or reason when I'm choosing my fabrics. I just grabbed a bunch. And I'm going to throw them in. I should have done this ahead of time, but I didn't know I was going to be doing this today. So anyway, so I'm using four different fabrics. You can use as many as you like. And that should be enough. And this one, my fabric is wet, so it's going to be nicer. Um, putting it on okay and now I'm just going to take pieces I'm using a brush and Mod Podge this is regular Mod Podge this isn't the stiff one I don't have the stiff one so I'm just using this but uh, I think I'm going to get the stiff one because I don't I want my bowl to be a little stiffer than my other one. So I'm going to lay the fabric down, you know, the darker color side down because you want the inside of the bowl to have the bright color. Then on my last layer, I'm going to lay the pieces upwards so you see the color that way. And I just put this on pretty liberally. Um, just covering and making sure that it's saturated. Oh yeah, it goes on much better with the pieces being wet. It's gonna take longer to dry, but that's okay. Well, I'm just overlapping, crisscrossing, that's it. You don't have to be fancy. And don't worry how far you go down on the side because I trimmed, I took a scissor and trimmed mine when it was dry. 
I'm also going to stitch my edge. I did stitch it on my machine, but my machine wasn't working so well. So I didn't get a nice stitch. I made hand stitch it just for a nice effect on the edge. And in between, I just add a little bit more of the Mod Podge. So. I like it so much better doing it on the bowl than the balloon. I saw the balloon idea on Pinterest. It's a great idea, um, but just for me, I like having a solid base right here. You're still gonna get some wrinkles, but it doesn't really matter because it kind of looks good because it's fabric. So it looks good that you have wrinkles. So I'm not gonna try to get all the wrinkles out. I just felt on the balloon, I couldn't smooth them as well. Yeah, this way it can get a little messier though because it's dripping down the bowl more. Yeah, and I could go the size of this bowl if I wanted to. So, I'm, I, I may do that actually, and I haven't done this yet, but I would spin the bowl so you can get a nice, oh. spin the bowl around so you can see, you know, what areas you have to cover. And they said in a tutorial on Pinterest that obviously the more layers you do with fabric, the thicker and firmer it will be. And then if you use the stiff mod podge, there's a couple of brands you can buy. Fabric stiff enough. Um, if you use the stiff one, so now I'm going to put this one this way because I'm on like the second and third layer. So instead of turning it downward, I'm going to turn it upward. So you'll see the outside of the bowl. You'll see it on the outside. And then I'm going to go check this out in the summer when I'm done because it's um, very hot and it should dry pretty quickly. My other one I let it dry overnight and it was dry this morning. I'm just a little threads around. I don't really care about that. I mean, I could have cut my fabric better, but I didn't and I'm fine with it. And even if you don't cover everything on the outside with it facing up, you'll still get a nice effect. I mean, I'm going to have to cut a little bit more fabric because I want to go around again. So even though this one's facing up and that one's facing down, you're still going to get a very cool effect. So it doesn't matter if you switch it. It's slippery, so you can't turn it well. Now you can use smaller scraps too. I'm just cutting big to give you guys the idea. I didn't want to be making it too long of a video. So I use bigger scraps, but you can totally use smaller strips, like paper mache, how you use strips. But I'm fine with this for now. I'm gonna see how I like it. And I'm just gonna cut um, one more piece. Because <clears throat> I want to go over the whole bowl. I just want to have one going like that. Oh, I forgot to wet it. Darn it. I 
actually I don't really want it this long. I'm gonna cut it a little. Okay. Okay, now I'm just gonna little bit more. Make sure you got the whole thing covered. And then I am just going to let it dry. I added a little sparkle glue or glitter glue to my other one after it was done, but you could do it now as well. And that's just the personal thing to do. You don't have to do that. I'm going to do it because I like it. It dries clear, so you'll just see a little sparkle on the fabric. You can do the inside, too, when it's all done. You just add the sparkle glue. It's actually a mix of glitter glue and um, glitter paint. A light, light silver glitter paint. <clears throat> um, the smell of the Mod Podge can get to you a little bit. It's starting to bother me a little. It doesn't always, but I think because I'm using so much, so you might want to do it outside. It's up to you if it bothers you or not. And now I'm just going to go down each side just to smooth. Yeah, and it's going to look good. I can already tell this is going to come out great. Oh, my God. I can't wait till it dries. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to go put it outside, and I will be back. Thanks for watching, everyone.